Hello, welcome to this preview of the ComSoft class on LTE, LTE events, and beyond. LTE can be viewed as the culmination of many years of research and development in cellular systems. And in particular, it, there has been a trend going towards more and more data communications, mobile data. Even as late as 3G systems, voice was still the main uh, the main uh, kind of traffic, the main concern in the de design. But by the time we get to LTE, we finally have this the so-called all IP network and we have data first design. All right, so, so LTE is kind of a data first wireless system. And uh, in addition, it also incorporates the latest technologies and optimizations, new ideas that were not even, uh, that were not even known when 3G was being created, or perhaps were not mature at that time. So we have technologies like OFDMA, MIMO, hybrid ARQ in LTE that we didn't see in, um, in 3G systems. Well, what about LTE advanced then? So, so we'll be covering those topics, you know, OFDMA, MIMO, and, and you know, we're talking about uh, uh, you know, and how, how they are put together in LTE. And then we'll also then consider LTE advanced. So what about LTE advanced now? How does that relate to LTE? The, the short answer is that it's an evolution of LTE, but uh, the, the reason why it has a different name is that LTE actually did not meet the requirements for ITU for what a 4G system should be. It's only by the time we get to LTE advanced that we have these con continuing enhancements of LTE Finally, we are able to meet the requirements for what a, a true 4G system should be. And so that's why then this uh, LTE Advance was given this new name, LTE Advance, to emphasize this point that this is a 4G system. So what's next? What's beyond? I offer you two perspectives. So one is the shorter term perspective, and that is the continuing work. because. LTE and then new LTE Advanced, every year does continuing work, every year or, or year or two years, where new developments, new enhancements are added. So, as I, as I was saying, LTE is uh, is something that's continually uh, being evolved. At one point in time, you had LTE Advanced. Now, going beyond LTE Advanced, additional improvements are being added. So that's kind of the shorter terms, but shorter term perspective and we'll uh, give an overview of what's happening there in the 3GPP standards. The other perspective of what's beyond is 5G, the fifth generation. Uh, the immediate thing that most people might think about is that well it will, we'll just go uh, one or two orders of magnitude higher in terms of the data rates that we can achieve then we can start having the uh, even higher quality video um, real-time video going over the network, things like that. Well, it's not quite so simple. Yes, that the, the, the increase in data rates was one thing, was a very important factor going from 3G to 4G because of the need to support various kinds of data communications, various applications of uh, data communications. So it's not just voice, so things like video are not had to be supported on LTE. However, there are other emerging requirements and applications that people are thinking should should also go into um, what defines 5G. So it's not just about achieving higher data rates, but also supporting other paradigms of communications that have been emerging and are getting more and more important as we move forward. So things like mobile, uh, sorry, machine to machine, device to device the Internet of Things, or IoT, which is you know, really huge these days. I mean, as far as uh, people talking about what really needs to be done. So these kinds of things are coming into the picture for 5G, so it's not just about higher data rates. Meanwhile, uh, there's all kinds of suggestions about the, 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 the radio spectrum that should be used for 5G, so things like millimeter wave, for example and network densification is another idea, massive MIMO, various kinds of things. So we'll talk about these ideas 
and um, trying to give a perspective on what's happening uh, in the in the industry today, and, and then also the IMT twenty twenty standards. <clears throat> This course is being revised and updated every time it is offered. We'll be covering the latest developments in 3GPP, as well as the, as the latest developments in IMT 2020. And if this interests you, uh, I hope you'll join us. Thank you.